Hi everyone. So I'm going to be testing out Natasha Denona's um, mini eyeshadow palette. Um, trying to see if the palette has like its name, but it is one of their like brown ones. So I don't know. Like for me personally, I have tried out um, their like larger kind of. I think it was six uh, palette right so six shades in it and I was like mm, I don't think it's really like that amazing that I pay like those full prices for them um, but I think for $30 I don't think this is a bad price necessarily um, and that if the quality is good and then I did use my um, 88 so their new year code so I got $8 off so for like 22 bucks like I'm pretty happy. I did pick up as well my birthday gift and that. So I have like a milk mascara. So I haven't really thoroughly used a milk one before. Um, and then I have what is the thing? Their cool water. So to apply around your eyes, neck, face, and body to cool. So let me put this around my eyes. Hmm. It does have like a cool sensation. I'm just going to kind of hydrate my eyes. I have a little dry spot there. There. So like, this is what I really wanted from their mask of it like go up to go down right so I'm happy this actually works because I was so disappointed when my mask didn't actually roll up because I do think it's just like a cute little idea and something different right so I'm just going to kind of move that massage it in and it's definitely come in a little but I think I might just under my eyes a little more. Add. Because <laughs> my skin was like, yes, please. Just looks like the dry weather and then it's going hot and then cold. My skin can't keep up. I think it's something nice and moisturizing so I'm glad I was able to pick that up so from their palette I was kind of swatching so they do make good colors for bruises and then I was testing out other makeup palettes and I'm stained <laughs> so I'm kind of nervous because I really wanted to use some of these bright pink colors uh, in this other palette but it's stuck on me and I've used an oil cleanser and I've done that but I just have like, I do have that skin that easily stains. So kind of going through and those colors, bam. It's not bad, right? For those swatches. Right, so nice kind of deep matte colors right and I did kind of play it safe with like brown colors like they're not that hard to do in theory because I'd be like yeah I know people still kind of mess it up so going in they have the shades on the back so so I think this is sienna which I think is weird because I feel like that's pretty close to uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills. Okay, so there's Sienna is maybe a little bit of a darker color. But I was just like, eh, we're still kind of naming. So I thought it was kind of like, because I feel like this color is kind of like the orange soda of the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. So I'm just going to 
apply this color above my crease and kind of keeping it out towards my outer corner coming in a little so always kind of like tap off Going in with a more tightly packed blending brush, I'm going to go into uh, Bronage. Bronage. That's why I feel like my names are wrong. So I would think it would go like Bronjid, Bronjid, Coin, Limo, Sienna, Soil. I don't know if these are switched. I just feel like that's more of like that bronze color, but they're calling it soil. I feel like that one's more soil. So I don't like when makeup tries to outsmart me with these names of like, how, how do you kind of recognize these? Um, and especially for like a more expensive brand, if you can't put the name on the front, I don't get how that would cost so much more to do. So just with a blending brush, keeping it to that outer corner. So I'm just kind of having back pain. So sorry for some of my camera angles. I know like sometimes people are like, oh, like I am trying to play around to see like what I like the best. Um, but I am like a little hunch. So I'd be like, okay, I like this. And I'm like, oh, my head's like down here. Um, and that, um, but I do feel like it, this requires a little bit more blending cause I do feel it's more uh, an intense color and that um but hopefully that means it has that staying power so i think like just kind of on the bat i'm on the fence of like is this really worth it i think for some things i generally think like are you really worth it or can i find something cheaper 
I do kind of just feel like I did pick kind of safe colors because I feel like I almost dropped it. I feel like nothing's really special about any of these colors. Like I have them in many other palettes um, and that. So it is really just because I'm buying it for the name, you know? And that to be like, oh, well, it's Natasha Denona eyeshadow because I don't think it's anything that special, right? Or different than what's out there currently. But like, there's nothing wrong with buying it because you're like, ooh, it's fancy. Um, going into soil, so this shade here, I'm going to put this on my lid. So with the shimmer shades, I was noticing some fallout, right? So I am kind of like trying to pack on that shade. So I think in your technique, you could probably get it to where there's no fallout just because I do have like a cream that's kind of sticky and tacky underneath. It wasn't easily kind of brushed away. Um, going into Koi. Koi. I'm gonna put this on the outer corner. And this one's kind of like a little bit different, I think, of like, kind of like a shifting kind of brown. There's a little bit of that green reflect in it. So again, you don't really want to load up your finger because then it's getting stuck on your face. I just feel like that's not how I want to do it because I feel like you do need to kind of like pack on the color to get that impact. So not so much fallout with the matte shades, but kind of with the metallic. And then going into that middle shade, and I know this is limo, because it works in five and five, so no matter what way, I know at least this one's called limo. And I'm just gonna put that in my inner corner. And that so I think it's a nice bronzy I'll have to change kind of what I'm wearing so let's just throw that off because it definitely doesn't go with my color scheme um, and then I'm just gonna go into my violet Foss palette for that tealy shade to put on my lower lash line I'm gonna search for like a smudger so it's like an eyeshadow brush, but kind of like a smudger that I've really been liking for my under eye and I couldn't find it. And I was like, oh no, I think it's Bo 
chayas in that. So I did get this in my Ipsy. So as much as Ipsy's been messing up lately, like I'm, I'm still going to keep them because I like the stuff that I get. I would just like them to grow and do better. Uh, and that, so I'm going to go into Oceanfront, which is this like tealy shade, just because I feel like it would kind of go nice with like the floral accent. I just need to change up to a black sweater to go with my bronzy eye look. So going in, I have that pop of color at the bottom. I do feel like I just need to kind of like clean up those sides a little. So I think just kind of with a fluffy eyeshadow brush. I was like, I'm such a mess. I like clean and order. When things aren't that way, I get a little like, ah. um, so I'm just kind of going back in with that matte shade. And then just with a clean eyeshadow brush, just going over and blending. It's just like a one-two sweep, just to make sure nothing is harsh. And that, and then I know, like, why do we make things in tubes? They roll away. So trying the Kush mascara from Milk. So it's kind of like a thick little wand. Oh, here's kind of my chrome plated eye look with the mascara. So I do think the mascara curls and kind of separates nice. Uh, not too much necessarily with the lengthening. So like, not like amazing, but good. I think kind of uh, with Natasha and Jonona, I'll kind of uh, check in later to see how everything's kind of holding up. With the milk, I do think I like the milk little cooling thing because it's just so easy and nice to do. Use it after <laughs> you put on your makeup kind of deal or like before you put on your face uh, if you're going to do foundation and things like that. So I will check in after my day to see how this all holds up. But I am liking the little pop of green at the bottom. So checking in, I am just waking up from a nap and stuff like that. So I'm wearing the black cause like I'm definitely a face sleeper <laughs> and that. So definitely the mascara will not hold up through a nap that great. Um, but I do think the Natasha, Natasha Denona um, is still kind of going on strong for it being a while and for me napping. Um, and that, so I think if you want to try out some of these like higher brands, I think it's nice that they are doing like maybe a little bit more affordable. So like maybe you're not getting a whole bunch of them, um, but you're at least getting to try them out to see, is it worthwhile? And I think for kind of getting it, uh, $8 off for $22, I definitely think it's worthwhile. Um, and things like that. And I definitely do like my milk kind of hydrator. So I might try more of their uh, skincare and serums just because I really did like the kind of ease of putting it on my face. So thanks so much guys. I hope you have a great day. Bye.